So this year, instead of a giant Black Friday deals list, I broke my setup into three piles. What keeps the system alive, what keeps me sane, and what's just for fun. By the way, these are a few things that I actually ended up using long-term over the year. So if they're on sale on Black Friday, great. If not, then it's still worth it. I'll link to the ones on sale down below. This video also includes a few sponsored items. And for those items, I will let you know with a line like this. Let's go. You probably see me do a couple of cluster videos on this channel, and these are mini racks that I've used in those videos. This is from GeekPie. This is the four unit rack mate, eight unit, and I'm going to show you another one that's even bigger. That one actually has stuff in it. And this one is called a TT. It's really cute. It's even smaller, but you can use it horizontally if you want to, or vertically. As you can see, a Spark doesn't fit into them, but a Mac Mini would. And I've talked to GeekPie. They're actually going to give away a few to you folks. Just leave a comment down below. I love these things. They are super convenient and they're really easy to carry around. They're easy to rack small equipment up, perfect for desk or office. And this form factor is becoming more and more popular with home labbers, especially because of its size and the tiny equipment that we have to rack mount these days. And if I'm keeping these on my desk, I need a big desk. Before I get into the chair and all the other upgrades, I need to fix the foundation of this whole setup, the desk. Last year, I switched to a desk from Vernal after using my old one for over 10 years. I tried going smaller, thinking I'd be more disciplined about what I keep on the surface, and that lasted about a week. I've got work machines, test machines, random gadgets, so I ended up adding an extra leaf almost right away. The nice thing with Vernal is that it's modular. That extra leaf doesn't feel like some bolt-on solution. It just feels like part of the desk. But even with that, it still wasn't quite enough. If I didn't have that custom patch panel living on one side here, I could have also added another leaf on the other side and called it a day. But instead, I decided to go big again. So this time I went for the 78 inch by 30 inch version in white. Someone in the comments last year suggested I go with a white top and I tried it and really liked how it looks on camera and in person. So I stuck with white again. Add a couple of solid cabinets and we're good to go. I was pretty confident going back to Vernal because the first desk has been rock solid. Vernal's whole thing is building a workspace around a modular system. So you can start with a desk and then you can add what you actually need. Monitor shelves, trays, hooks, all that without feeling like you're rebuilding the entire room every time you change something. They've got a range of desktop sizes from smaller setups if you're tight on space up to the larger tops like this 78 by 30 that I have here and a few different finishes from more budget friendly laminated options to solid wood. So you don't have to go as big as I did to get something that fits in your room and your budget. Stability is the big one here for me. The frame and the legs on this thing are solid. So even at standing height, it doesn't wobble even with multiple monitors and a bunch of gear on top. The keypad is actually thought through. It sits near the edge and gives you three height presets and you can set upper and lower limits so it doesn't crash into the PC case or storage underneath. It also supports a lot of weight, plenty for a fully loaded setup with monitors, audio and a big tower or two and they include a cable tray in the box, which helps keep power brakes and cables off the floor from day one or day two or three in my case. I'm bad at cable management, okay? I'll do it tomorrow. If you're checking out Black Friday deals and your current desk is the thing holding your setup back, I'd start here. And if you use my code YTAZ, when you check out through the link below, you'll get an extra 6% off. On top of that, during Black Friday, there is another $70 off their classic sets. So if you want a similar foundation and your own setup, hit the link down below, code YTAZ, and stack that extra 6% on top of the Black Friday pricing. Now, most of you see this side of the videos, but there is another side. And it's another workspace I set up out here. Ah, here we go. You don't usually see this angle because it doesn't sound good in here. It doesn't look good in here. And this is a very messy desk. But I wanted to show you what really happens behind the scenes here. Here's an actual rack with equipment in it. This is a framework desktop cluster that I'm actually testing and running. But this right here is the RD320U by BenQ. This is a 32 inch monitor. And this monitor is actually from the programmer series of monitors. It's not the most beautiful looking monitor. It's got bezels, it's got a big chin, it's thick, but it does have an internal power supply, which is nice. However, it looks 
fantastic. And the functionality of it is really easy. I've gotten to use a couple of monitors over the past year doing this channel. And believe me, the functionality here, the ergonomics of how to use it and how to switch between functions is super easy. I don't have anything on DP right now, that's why it's blank. I actually did a full review on this little Cousin, the 24 inch version. I'll link to that down below so you can get all the specs and all the details. It's basically the same thing, but the 32 inch version. Now, of course, if you wanna use more than one monitor or if you have peripherals to connect, then you're gonna need a dock, which is what I've got connected to my MacBook or I usually do, you caught me. This thing actually powers my MacBook and it's got 20 ports on it, which is insane. But most of that doesn't matter to me. Uh, sure, it's got Thunderbolt 5, it's fast. But what that dock has that no other dock up till now has is 10 gigabit ethernet speed. I've recently upgraded my entire LAN to 10 gigabit and my older dock, which was great, it was an anchor, it did not have 10, it had 2.5 gigabit. Ugh. But everything else was nice about it, even internal power supply was nice. This one has 10 and that's why I'm using it and that's why it's permanently stuck over here now. Now the bright room station is where I'm usually standing up at my desk. Here I'm usually sitting down and for sitting down, you need a nice office chair. When I won't be standing at my desk, I'll be sitting. This is the Habata E3. The floating wing lumbar tracks as I shift about 40 degrees of rotation with forward and back and height adjustments. So support stays where my lower back needs it during long work sessions. The 4D headrest moves up and down, in and out and tilts. Helpful when a quick architecture review turns into an hour. 6D armrests let me match desk height, pull in for typing, widen for tablet use, rotate for phone testing, or flip up so I can slide in close. I always like mesh seats in my office chairs, and this has the mesh seat and back to keep things cool. And for a five minute reset between deploys, the recline and retractable footrest that I have here on this version, uh, that does the trick. It's not flashy, it just removes one more source of friction so that I can think. It comes with a three year warranty and 30 day returns and free shipping. I'll put the model specs and link down below in the description. Now this one I initially thought was kind of gimmicky until I actually tried it. This is the Plod pin. They did sponsor my videos before, but this one is not sponsored. I just happen to use this all the time. Whenever I go to a meeting, whenever I go to conferences, if I uh, have a meeting on Zoom, I just have this thing running and then it summarizes my meetings. Way easier than fumbling around with a phone. I can't keep track of everything. This keeps track of things for me during meetings. Switching gears. This also was a sponsor on the channel, but I still use it and I love it. It's called getrecall.ai. I always like it when sponsored segments work out and then I try something and I end up using it and liking it. Not everything is like that, but some things are, and Get Recall is one of those things. I use it mostly for keeping track of the videos that I've seen, chatting with videos that I've seen, and organizing them like this. Here is a little node chart of different topics that I've kept track of, like uh, here is a big node for NVIDIA and the different things that are connected with it. Basically a concept graph. I can start a chat with all my different uh, things that I've saved in there. I can also go into individual videos. Here's one that was actually in Russian and I could start chatting with it. It does a quick summary. It does the transcript. It does a detailed summary. It does quizzes and then you can actually chat with it even though it's in a different language. Whoops. Okay. There we go. You just have to specify what language you want it in and there it goes. Very cool tool. All right, all right, one more that I wanted to just throw in there because I've started using it recently. It's a remote KVM and when I first heard that, I was like, what the heck are these? Not sponsored by the way, although they did sponsor previous uh, episodes, but I've started using them and I actually bought a bunch more of these. It connects to your LAN with one cable, you can power it and then you connect your computer to it through HDMI and the USB-C for controlling the mouse and the keyboard. So the video of the computer comes out into here and gets fed through your LAN, through the internet. You can do remote communication with your local machines basically through this little device. This thing does one thing, it does one thing really well and it does what it says it does. So I like it, I'll link to this down below. 
Now, since this is a Black Friday video, I wanted to also show you an addition that's a little different from my channel. But once I tried it, I had to tell everyone about it. This is the Valerian Vision Master Pro 2. It's a long throw 4K laser projector that's all about picture quality. I've been struggling with a certain projector in here for a couple of years. And when this one started getting a ton of really good reviews across YouTube from channels I trust, I finally went for it and wow, I was blown away. Projectors aren't exactly my area of expertise, so I kind of had to work backwards. Why does this look so much better? Well, you're getting true 4K, about 3000 ISO lumens and 15,000 to one contrast ratio with their black level tech. And it covers 110% of the Rec 2020 color gamut with ISF certified color accuracy. In normal human terms, <laughs> dark scenes don't turn into gray mush. Bright shots still pop and colors look rich without looking fake. In my terms, I just really like how it looks. It'll go all the way up to a 300 inch image if you've got the wall or screen. So this room flips from office to tiny cinema pretty quickly. You thought that was a green screen, didn't ya? And it supports all the good stuff. Dolby Vision, HDR 10 plus, IMAX enhanced, filmmaker mode. So if you feed it a high quality signal, it actually shows it. Since this is Black Friday, here's the deal. In the US, the Vision Master Pro 2 normally goes for $2,999, but right now it's $2,299, 700 bucks off. They also have a bundle with their projector, the 412 Thunderbeat speaker system, and a white screen that usually totals for over $5,600. And for Black Friday, it's $2,999, which is like a $2,700 discount. This is the lowest price they've offered in 2025. I'll drop some links below so you can check the current pricing. If you're already thinking about buying a big TV for movies or games, this is absolutely worth a look instead. Well, since I did the projector and we're not exactly on tech for developers, but I know a lot of developers who also do music production. And I just discovered these, but these have been around for now 10 years. Korg makes these little things called the Volca. This one's called the Volca Beats. And basically it's a little drum machine slash synth. So you can mess around with this thing in real time. It's actually a lot of fun. I think the battery is dying on this one. You would normally hook this up to your speakers or listen to it through headphones. It probably sounds like crap here, but you know, you get the idea. Yeah, it works on batteries and it's got a little speaker in it so you can always take this anywhere you want. In fact, I like this thing so much, I went and got a couple of their other little gadgets. This is the Volca drum, which is just a drum machine. And this is the Volca sample, which is the sampler. These are about 120 bucks a piece. I don't know if they're gonna keep selling them or not, but like I said, it's t over 10 years old. And then I got into little machines like this. This is fun with the kids or even by yourself. This is not from Korg, but it's still a lot of fun. It's from Stylophone. This one lets you do bass and drums. You get the idea. Another one from Stylophone is this little synth. I don't know, it's just really fun to see these kinds of things after many years of thinking of a synthesizer as being a big thing that you need to plug into everything and it's not super portable. These are just really nice and portable. So that's it for this Black Friday video. Hope you enjoyed. If you do enjoy some of these things, let me know in the comments down below if you have used them before. I know that some of the programmers out there have messed around with this. Let me know what you think. That's my desk setup for the year with the new Vernal desk. Don't forget to check out the link down below for their Black Friday deals and use the code YTAZ to get an extra 6% off on top of that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.